Hey guys, what's up? It's both your one and only, and it's been pretty much a day since I've done this. No, uh, I think two days ago, I did like a little face cam talk with you guys. But recently, just got a new job. So, yeah, working basically at, in a general store, and I'm basically a stock boy. I, it's this, this, basically stocking shelves. It actually wasn't half bad. As I thought it was. It was a little bit confusing though. Because there was like letters and numbers and shit written all over the packages to where they go. But it it's not easy trying to figure out where certain things go in the store. Even though it's not like huge or anything like that. It's, it's sort of like a medium sized place. But actually I would say it's more of like a nah, medium it's fine. Nah. No, we're just going to go with it like a little small medium store. You know, basically stocking shelves, trying to figure out where everything is. You basically got to figure out your way around or memorize like everything. So, pretty much so far, it's pretty straightforward. I'm not working the cash register or anything like that. At least not yet. They said I'm barely going to be touching the cash register. Which is fine because I hate dealing with numbers, dude. I really do. But it's actually been pretty chilled. The staff is actually pretty chilled. You know, I have two different managers. They're both pretty chilled so far. Been helping me out. And most of them know what they're doing. We, we were all confused at first. It, it, it kind of started off rocky because what our managers didn't know... Where a certain thing was, I'm not even gonna go with like details and stuff like that because I don't know. It's it's basically like doing your I nine and stuff like that. We didn't understand like where to go and stuff like that. So yeah, we we had a little bit of a struggle, but we got we actually figured it out in the end, and I got to work. Um, basically going through training right now until I get an actual schedule and stuff. But today I'm pretty much off. But you know I was gonna stream, and today I went in the living room and started being loud as hell. So yeah, that's why I said I was gonna have to record later. So yeah, so now I'm recording and I'm probably just gonna lay down because I gotta call them every morning just to see when to come in and to I get an actual schedule. So yeah. A lot of stuff will be going on. I'm going to have to change my upload schedule and my streaming schedule. I'm probably going to stream in the mornings instead of night. Because basically get off around like 10. Or basically close at 10. So yeah, nighttime streams definitely going to be weird. Well actually, I can stream when I get off work. Be more like a straight up midnight stream that I could just go to sleep after that depending on how I feel though or I could just wake up stream go to sleep then go to work or I could just wake up record then stream then go to work because last time well my first day I had recorded two videos the other one, the second one was the Alchemist Code video, and it's, that, that bastard, ooh, I had to render some stuff, and the app I was using could not render more than four gigs. So I'm sitting here like, oh, well, I'm pretty much screwed. What am I going to do now? <laughs> Basically, I had to find a new editing software, which I'm using, which is called InShot, I think, or even OneShot like that. I think it's in shot, but I'm using that right now. That's why you guys saw like the weird, like little background thing of the Alchemist Code video, which looks aight, but then again, it just makes me feel weird and I want to try to figure out a feature to remove that. Unless it's like vertical, then not. I'm fine with it doing it like on a vertical video, but on a horizontal video, that's questionable of me wanting to do that. But. Yeah, figuring out new things of how to work with my phone until I can get my um 
motherboard. Which I haven't ordered yet. <laughs> I said somewhere within this week. Um, yeah, somewhere within this week I will be doing that. Because I gotta look up bank stuff and stuff like that. Ah, a lot of adult stuff, but basically trying to figure out everything and get everything situated right now since I'm once again going through all this crap. <laughs> so this should be fun. With that said, uh, this is just a bit of an update video. But yeah, my legs started pretty much hurting afterwards, you know. Stocking is not easy. That's just pretty much... I want to say six to eight hours of standing, crouching, squatting, <laughs> picking up, lifting things. Yeah, not, <laughs> not easy, but yet it's pretty fun, to be honest. Uh, stalking was something I honestly wanted to get into just because, you know, it, it gave me like a little bit of exercise and, you know, kind of was kind of easier of a field for me to work in just because I can reach like you know shells and everything it's funny because she told me I was like perfect for like that position just be just because I can reach like top shells and stuff because most of the people who are working there are, are kind of shorter than me I'm pretty pretty tall so yeah that that works out so <laughs> uh that that was a great compliment <laughs> Actually, height coming into advantage. Everybody else needs to go get ladders. That doesn't mean like I'm like a giant or anything. I'm, I'm just probably like, I want to say two inches above them at least. Maybe. Nah. Maybe like two feet. Probably like a feet or two, if anything. But yeah, it, it was pretty cool. Pretty cool for my first day. They said I actually did a, a really good job on my first day. <sighs> we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> but pretty much it's... <sighs> and just being able to go out again and just do all this is actually pretty fun. And weird at the same time since I'm really, you know like to keep to myself antisocial but I got I'm kind of forcing myself to you know interacting with people at least you know I thought I would be nervous but I actually was not nervous the whole time I guess YouTube has changed me a lot because I used to be nervous about this stuff but now it, when I'm going now just talking with people it's just like everyday passive stuff so I to be honest I appreciate you guys and you know, helping me change myself as much as I've, you know, helped other people, you know, try to brighten up people's day, get them some new games to play, stuff like that. But it's been like a pretty cool ride, to be honest. And hopefully we keep it going. You know, I think I've said a lot of buts and you know through this whole video. <laughs> I guess I'm still not used to like recording through like a phone or vlogging and stuff like that. Normally I would add music in the background, but you know, you never know what's copyrighted, what's not, stuff like that. Yeah, YouTube. I had a whole folder for that to where I can just, you know, throw in, oh, I gotta move my phone, like throw in non-copyright music, but you know, it never stays non-copyright for long. Pretty soon, some company is going to come by and just be like, oh, well, we own this guy, so we own this song now. Ha <laughs> ha. Man, YouTube's changing. Changing a lot. But I have thought about it, and I will be doing, like, anime talks and stuff like that since I found some pretty decent editing software. I'm going to at least attempt and try it out. You know, I could put up, like, little pictures over here. You know, we'll, we'll see how that goes now and then. But as for now, I'm just going to experiment and we'll see. But with all that said, I'll see you guys on the next one. And then, peace out.